Hello everyone and welcome back to the Animal Sciences channel. In this video, we will learn how to use apply function in R. The codes and data used in this video can be downloaded using the links in the description. Apply function in R can be used to perform an action to multiple rows and columns. First, we will load sheep data using read.csv function and store it into an object D1. Next, we will use str function to get the structure of data. So this data has 200 observations in each of 5 variables. Now let's view this data using view function. Now we will get help on the use of apply function by adding a question mark in front of this function. As we run the code, the documentation on the use of this function will open in help tab. The syntax of this function looks like this. Here the first argument x stands for a data frame, array or a matrix. Margin indicates whether you want to apply function on rows or columns. Next argument is fun which specifies the function you want to apply. For example, mean, sum or any other function. At the end, there are dot 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 which specifies any extra argument related to the function. So let's get the maximum value in, in the columns of this data. So type apply and within this function type x equal to d1 because d1 is our data set. Next margin equals to 2 as we want maximum values within the columns and at the last function equals to max. So run this code. Here you can see the maximum values in each of the five columns. Like for BWT, it's four and so on. You can also apply a function to row wise by simply changing margin to one. So let's get maximum values in each row using this code. So here in first row, it shows maximum values in rows 1 to 10 for example in first row the maximum value was 33.44 in second row it was 32.71 and so on you can also define your own function within apply function for instance there is no function to calculate standard error in base r so we will create our function to compute standard error of each column so within this function we add function x that will compute standard deviation of vector x and then divide it by the square root of length of x. By running this code you will get standard error for each variable. So the standard error for BWT is 0.183 and WT120 is 0.347 and so on. So now I will conclude this video but I will suggest you to perform other operations like mean, median, variance and standard deviation by your own. You can get help on the use of each of these functions by watching my earlier video on this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share it and subscribe to this channel.